And the ball. Well, he opted off of it. Fielding no finish. And I don't know how much showmanship there is in not going for the ball, though. Yeah, you don't want to bust. Now both want tops. And that is the end of that. And Owen has got going, hasn't he, in the last couple of legs? In the uh, opening leg of the match and giving Gilding the initiative in the first set, he's now got himself back in front in this set and he's playing well. 14. And with the little help from that bounce out, Gilding's got himself in a bit of a spot of bother here. You don't want to drop the first set. And he finds it and he wants the ball and he was that close to a spectacular 1-6-1 which would have leveled up the first set but as it is Owen now has his chance to take it double 18 double nine for the set and there it is uh, Robert Owen is a pumped up Welshman on the Ali Pali stage that wasn't the greatest of turns. Yeah, it was, he didn't have a finish to start, but as it was purely a setup visit, it was not a good one. 97. The third dart treble 19 maybe gives Gilding a hint of a chance to prolong the set or not. Another of those leaves double six. It's Bull. 78. And Miss Bullseye keeps Gilding alive in this set. Trouble 15, the target. And finds it to leave tops. Oh, what a finish. There's the 10 plus out shot. Okay. Here's a chance for Owen. Again, it's a long shot. It's no shot now. Looking to leave tops with a treble last duck. Can he find it from there? No, he can't. Well, he made every effort. It wasn't a bad attempt. Now Gilding for a level game. Yes, tops it is. And Goldfinger looking to level the match. Yeah, after I think we all expected one, if it wasn't in, to be right on the wire. And that one just got away. Well, it can still be done with 79 left. Trouble 13 would have left tops. He'll be disgusted with that. Absolutely disgusted. Not even to get a dart and double off 80 and Gilding three more at tops. Double 10. And Andrew Gilding finally finds the finish that levels up the match. To avoid getting broken, he has to think he needs his two tops. And will Andrew Gilding try for two tops or the more conventional treble 20? And uh, Wisdom would say treble 20 with three in hand. Yes, yeah, so double 10. A third break of throw in the set if he gets double five. 75. I don't think you could feel confident of any player hitting a double at this stage of the match. As evidenced. As evidence. We just saw five darts miss a double between the two Aerosmiths in a matter of seconds. And the end of the leg. And it's Andrew Gilding's leg. A break of throw in front again in the match. It's very much an outlier in terms of statistics. But here's Gilding looking to hold with something spectacular. And the treble here would be really handy. And there it is. That's a, a nice leave of double eight for Gilding. It, and he will be back for it, regardless of what the Welshman tallies here. He snuck one in the treble, but dare I say, 
It probably doesn't matter. Three in hand for double eight. Takes a big step to the right. It wasn't quite big enough. Well, you said it doesn't matter. It matters now, John, doesn't it? He's been six starts at doubling the last two legs. He did win the last one, Gilding, eventually, but his doubling has rather fallen off a cliff. And now that leaves the bullseye. I'm reticent to say it, but surely this time. And surely it is. And Andrew Gilding pins double A. Two in sets. Missed one of these earlier. Seems much earlier now. Couldn't find the second treble. 97. Robert Trevor Choir, 154. Double 17. Yes. The lesser spotted double 17 at the end of a spectacular combination finish from Robert Owen. And all that adds up to a level match again. That was absolutely fantastic. Out of the blue and in the green bit. Leave that 1-6-1 again. Treble 17 will leave the ball. One thing I've noticed just of late about Robert Owen, as compared to the beginning of the match, is he's completely focused on this board and playing the, the match. There's absolutely zero attention on the crowd at this point. Double 16 has been his choice for most of this match, and it is again. Double 16. And Owen now trying to make a surge in the sprint for the finishing line. Yeah, to be fair, that's probably the first time, and it might be the last that Andrew Gilding is compared to Tyson Fury. But here he needs to find the treble above that first dart, and he can't. Can he leave double eight? Yes, he can. And he's back for it as well because Owen is a mile back here. So Gilding from a leg down in the deciding set. Now odds on to go two legs to one up. 60. Andrew Owen Meyer, 16. Yes, sir. Well, from in serious trouble to a leg away from victory in the space of five. In the position he's in. Well, but Owen has to break the Andrew Gilding throw to stay in the tournament. But, yeah, no one needs to go for the 19s here now. Has to try and get to a finish. Oh, he's straight in them as well. He could switch. He doesn't need to, though. 95. We'll switch. 58. Yeah. That wasn't really what he had in mind. Kind of is okay, but Owen's thinking it's okay too. That's the problem. 66. More misfortune, perhaps, for Robert Owen on that, is it? So, tops for the match! Yeah. Andrew Gilding is the man with the minus touch goal! In a pretty modest opening set. Now, more errors. And the lead from the breed, he'll be kicking himself even more now. Well, perhaps he can get his revenge by pitching it. But just a lack of concentration, that from Janssen. It's been a, how should we say, an ordinary opening set. So Janssen will return, having already missed three darts for the set. For set one. 
And he gets there eventually. And, uh, the 180, did he? The chances are he's going to get a dart for the set here. And he's... Pressure from Janssen, but it's all in the hands of Paolo the Breeder to level this match up at one set apiece. You know, what a turnaround. Didn't really see this coming. One dart, a double eight team for the man from the Philippines. Well, this could be a red asterisk moment in the notebook if Janssen pitches this. A two set lead. Up to tops. Oh, pin the wire, can he follow it? He can. More opportunities for the breeder. That second one was really rushed. Really rushed by Janssen, and he's thrown this away. The fair play to his opponent. Was that a friend or foe? It suggests he's moving. It's awkward. A fourth sack dart. Exactly the same thing after Christian Perez and Simon Whitlock. He stacked too low on the double 18 and it just caught and hit the deck. More opportunities for Danny Jansen. Very fortunate that this could be a two set lead for the Dutchman. Oh, wow. Gotta refocus. What <laughs> one way of checking out 40. He's into the second round. Tops for the breeder. One to tens. That's a few times in a match, not on this occasion. It's 18 darts, Mr. Doubles by the breeder. Danny Yance is making a right mess of this now. A real chance to just sort of put this game to bed, get the double hit, throw for the match. Janssen's missed 26 starts at doubles. Really edgy and messy at the back end of legs. And remarkably, the breeder has got three more to keep this set on throw. Sort of emphasizes it doesn't matter how you perform, you want you want to win. Get the win. Danny Anson not playing well, but there's two legs away. Wait, <laughs> his highest finish on the match, can't get it. We'll be back. to go within one leg. So here we go, another deciding leg. And the mullet senior. And also he gets the win. His job done. 164, the highest finish of the event. Twice actually, Dimitri Vandenberg and Scott Williams last night as well. Is it going to be joined by Paul on the breeder then? Yeah, good, good dart that you have to say. Look at one of those. He can't, Cabby. Absolutely no way. He could have finished in style, Danny Anson. Paolo and the breeder to prolong this match and send us into a fourth set. Another one of them or an eight. Just get over that section of the board. It's double 16 to save the match. And how close was that? But match starts. He's had one. Danny Janssen has got three more incoming. On debut.
both Nebrida and Janssen. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Four match darts. And the story of set play. He's that close. He's now going to have to find three legs again. The breed the tally of his opponent. That's perfect for him. Oh, here we go. For the set. Double ten. Oh, unlucky. Great effort from the breeder. But Janssen's still got a bit of work to do here. No. In his shoes, straight for it. Or two double four. Looks like he's straight for it. And this outside, though, this becomes awkward. One for double two. Did well, did very, very well. And he's won four consecutive legs. And he averaged 107 in set three. Breed it to make Danny Anson throw for a place in round two. Needs to convert this double four. Just use the marker. So is this the moment, finally, for Janssen, who's already missed four match darts? Well, match dart five coming in. Match dart six needed, and match dart six has come and gone. He's still not over the line, Danny Janssen. That one came down to bottle, I think. The first one was wild, wasn't yeah. it? A bit more composure in the second one, but he just rushed those darts, Danny Anson, just eager to get over the line, but Nebrida made a mess of this in set two. This time he's gone a bit higher. Keeps the shot alive. That may be awkward. It was awkward. More match darts for Danny Anson. Surely this time six have come and gone. Double 11, or is he going to split it? It's affected Zonabel, John, that those missed darts are doubles because he hasn't really got much going since, has he? Well, yeah, it wasn't just a missed dart at double, was it, though? It was one where he hit a single odd number and then had to correct, and he only got one more dart as a consequence. It was a, the, the worst of situations. And yeah, I think he hasn't recovered from that. He's, it is difficult to discard things which are ugly that you produced just that quickly. The opening set. And he's there again. He won the last two legs on double ten. Louis Williams is off and running. Yeah, get the job done here. Louis Williams. Zonabel not quite down to finish. Louis Williams uh, leaves the 170 as Zonabel did in the last leg. Zonabel's just got to be careful here. This tie could run away from him. Got to hang on in there. 63. Well, at this point, you still got to press hard to get those trebles like that. He, he puts himself in a much better out than on the 110 of Zonneveld, but it could go. Tops for Zonneveld. Stop the rot here. Yeah, really good start from Niels Onneveld. The pressure to take that and a little bit of a response. Another one plays real pressure. But he's already taken a 110 in this set, Zonneveld. He's going to get a shot at the 104 to level up this match. Nils 
Good way to go. Just couldn't get the treble. Does in the end. Leaves double 12, but he has to hope he has a chance to come back for it. This, the golden opportunity for Williams for 2-0. Treble 20 for Tops. He's got it. This is big. He's taking his time, taking a step back. For a two-set lead, Zonavel hoping for errors, doesn't get any errors. Brilliant finish from Louis Williams. A set together, say, then it's just going to get back in his mind about, well, I still have to do this and that. And just not playing with any freedom at the moment. Zonavel got time with this 181. May go over to 25 with a second dart. Sometimes see that and they go back up, but. His third dart. Five. Louis Williams has been pretty decent in this match, Mark. Uh, six of 13 at doubles, that's always good. I think he's a pretty good stage player. Apart from that game last year against Gabriel Clemens, he made a good account of himself at the back end of last year in the European Championships against Jose de Souza. Zonavel looks to get the first leg, pulls it low. I think if he can be a bit more consistent away from the TV cameras, we might see a little bit more of Louis Williams on the big stage. Well, he swooped down out of nowhere here to get this opportunity. And he's gone for two double 18s. He needs another. And he gets it. Oh, what a blow he's landed to Zanavelt. There's been several examples in World Championship history over the years, but uh, Zanavelt hoping he can do it now. It's just gone a little bit harder, though, hasn't it? Louis Williams. Finds his second max of the match, and what a time when you're for him for the match. Yeah, Zonneville may be a little hard done by there to only get 100. But is it possible at a world championship to win a match with the nine dart leg? I don't know, has it ever happened? I can't think that it happened last uh, year. Mr. Willie Borland. Oh, yeah, of yes, course. Yes. What a moment that was. <laughs> Williams to end in style. And it's on. Oh, he's <laughs> dropped this dart. Well, Gedwin Price dropped the dart in the Premier League and still completed the nine dart leg. Can Louis Williams do the same? in round two, oh, on the wrong side of the line, what an effort from Louis Williams. You just never know when to expect the it's unexpected here, it's a, a spectacular effort for a nine dart leg to win the match, and only that far away, that <laughs> close. Look at that, sometimes you see a bit of adrenaline in the dart, go high or low, it was a well-thrown dart on just the wrong side of the wire. Zonneveld has just got to keep asking questions, but Louis Williams has had two match starts already. One more incoming. Well, his heart might be pounding a little bit now, Mark. Just a little. It might be hard to hit this double. He's really trying hard to calm himself. You called it, John. It is difficult after you've just been through that, as spectacular as it could have been. He missed a 1-4-1 combination in the first leg of the match against Gabriel Clemens last year, and it haunts him for the rest of the match. More match starts incoming for Louis Williams. And it is job done. That is a real good performance from Louis Williams. That's where he likes it. Is this his first? Karen you after the positioning of the first dart, which was so good. Got to stay there. 19. So the 118 is giving him a shot here. At double 12. Well, there you go, 118. 78 finish on the shot here from Simon you feel like he really needs to get this because anything's possible with De Souza. Oh brilliant brilliant double 12 like two big finishes he's missed the back-to-back -back 140s from De Souza. he's got a sniff 
No, he hasn't. Not now. Careless, careless dart from De Souza. 29. So finally for the opening set. Set that is to win for Simon Whitlock, as, as Whitlock did against the odds in the opener. 50. Well, what a day it's been for that young man, Luke Littler, crowned the JDC Junior Darts Corporation world champion earlier today, beating another youngster, Harry Gregory, 5-0 in the final. The world of darts awaits for Littler. Does it for De Souza this afternoon? Finally, finally a clutch finish from Jose De Souza, 1-1-4. One, one, Desperate from Jose De Souza. The Aussie not complaining. Tops for the set. 90 balls. He's had two darts to win the set at tops. He's got to get at least another one. Maybe two, maybe three. 28. At this rate, he could 20. probably come back with three visits. Well, he got there. Simon Whitlock. Simon Whitlock hasn't got past the last 32 for eight years. He's settled today for getting to the last 32. Another real grueler. Trouble 20. 105. Well, he's averaging 103. This is more like Jose de Souza, much more like it. Stays alive with a 13 data. Good leg from De Souza. Three more eight teams in the last four legs. But how about this? De Souza. With that 180, giving himself a chance. Ball for De Souza. Oh, go, go, go! Jose! That's all. Well, despite the cynics and the doubters, momentum is a key thing in sport. It's a... It does happen. Brilliant for Whitlock. Superb from Whitlock. It may only be a hold of throw. He's cut close to some big finishes. Snaps the last one. But 148. He's just taken out 144. He'd love to leave double four. 90 will have to do. Well. Went for the treble 14, so Whitlock here should get a dart at least at the ball. 94. Simon, 90. And you feel like he needs to take out this 90 to save the set. But it's double five. What an opportunity to break for Simon Whitlock. It was heart in the mouth time for De Souza. We are going the distance. One hundred and forty. Eighty five. Joseph McGuire, one hundred and thirty six. 
on 3 6. Double eight for Jose. Ah, it's getting better, isn't it? That's his third top plus finish. Amazing drama. He may need this to stay in it. Not enough for the wizard. Trouble 13. He took a gamble there. It's the way he likes to go. Got to go for Simon Whitlock. Got to go. Tops to stay in the World Championship. He's had his chances. One dart on probably four or five occasions. For the match. And Jose de Souza produces a stunning comeback to knock Simon Whitlock 